Well, first off, uh, Doug Williams is Grambling State. He is the face of that HBCU. Um, for him and Shaq Harris to, to be against this speaks volumes. Um, you know, a personal executive texted me yesterday and asked, do you think the backlash and even Doug Williams coming out will make uh, Hugh Jackson change his mind? And the first thing I said was, what else did Hugh Jackson need? What other evidence, um, you know, what really did he need before making this deci decision? Because if he was able to hire Art Briles, then own it. That's what I want to see. I want to see Hugh Jackson, a guy who has, um, you know, killed the Browns, killed the NFL for unfair treatment, not giving deserving people opportunities in the NFL, his own story saying that he deserves to be an NFL coach and how he's been mistreated. Uh, my apologies to anyone who, who suffered through all this. If you are genuinely contrite about what has taken place under your leadership, then the way he's acted, that, those two things don't jive to me. And for this to be the guy, that at, a, at this type of university, what Grambling State means, it, it, does, it bothers me to no end, especially from a guy like Hugh Jackson. Molly, I want to hear from you before I chime in. Because I know you have a lot to say about it, and I don't want to take up time. I want to hear what you have to say. Okay. The floor is yours. There's a few things I want to say. To your sure. Hugh Jackson point, uh, Kimberly, and I don't want to convolute the issue and make it about race, but I do find it a bit baffling because I saw him in a sit-down interview on the 6 o'clock Sports Center I watch every night with L. Duncan. It was an extensive interview, and it was so well done. And Hugh was frankly livid with the situation with Brian Flores and minorities not getting opportunities. And now Hugh Jackson is at an HBCU. That doesn't mean he's required to hire a black coach, but he did have an opportunity to hire a minority and instead went out and hired Art Bryles with a very checkered pass. I also want to say this. Uh, it, I take no pleasure, and I take no pleasure, I, I guess, in, in how would I phrase this? Um, I don't want to say banning somebody from a sport, a, but I guess, I guess that's how I would word it in this scenario. And, and this is what I mean. So if somebody asked me, do you think Art Bryles should ever coach again, right? I, I believe in second chances, and I believe in not judging people by their worst decision. And you can put Kimberly on the screen, too, because I want to hear her reaction and Stephen A. as well. Um, but this isn't second chances. This is third chances, and this is fourth chances. So he oversaw this program. And he did not take it seriously enough when we're talking about multiple incidents of domestic violence and sexual abuse. That's his responsibility. So if I can't trust you to care about young women, why should I believe that you can lead young men? So no, I don't think he should ever coach in any capacity in college football because of that very reason. The other thing, someone could come to me and say, well, the NCAA ruled that he didn't do anything wrong. You know why he didn't do anything wrong? because there's no rule that schools or coaches have to report domestic violence or sexual assault. And that is egregious as well, especially after what we saw with Penn State and Jerry Sandusky. How was that rule not instituted? So no, I don't think Art Bryles uh, should, be, should be working there. I, I'm baffled by the hiring by Hugh Jackson, and I think the NCAA needs to institute that rule because he's failed young women everywhere. And by failing young women, he's also failing young men. And he should be molding them and leading them. So no, I do believe in second chances. This is not second chances. This is third, fourth, and fifth. And if you don't believe me, you can go on ESPN.com. There's extensive reporting by Outside the Lines. They do an exceptional job. And there is a laundry list of incidents that I don't have time to get into. Stephen A? <sighs> I appreciate where both of y'all are coming from. There is no disagreement from me as it pertains to y'all position on, it, on this because I share it. But I'm going to be far more direct. Hugh Jackson should be ashamed of his damn self. Not like Hugh Jackson. He's been a guest on this show. This is an egregious mistake on his part. He should be ashamed because he comes across as desperate. Now, Hugh Jackson, for those of you who don't know, um, had a winless season, had a career 11-44 and one record as a head coach in the National Football League, um, had a 1-31 record over a two-year span, for crying out loud. 
And we all know if you look at the numbers, when you look at Grambling State, offense wasn't their thing. As a matter of fact, their offense was offensive. It was just that bad before Hugh Jackson got hired in December. Okay, so we get all of that. And Art Browse, who had a 65 and 37 record at Baylor, and for the last five years, he had double digit win seasons. One year, they averaged over 52 points a game, for crying out loud, at Baylor. And they were considered a juggernaut. Okay, we understand from a football perspective. But there's a reason I wore this jacket today. It's a jacket, historically black colleges and universities. And as a graduate of an HBCU, I understand that it's about being a leader of young black men. A black man in Hugh Jackson has been handed the reins at Grambling State. And Art Bryles is who you bring in. Think about that for a second. Of all the candidates, black and white, out there that you potentially could have hired, you bring in a man that the NCAA didn't, didn't inv in, in, invoke a show cause penalty like they did against Kelvin Sampson. And that's a problem with the NCAA, which is why I'm glad you brought that up, Molly, because Kelvin Sampson is now the coach at Houston. Yeah. Okay, this is a man that once coached at Oklahoma. He once coached at Indiana. And ultimately, he was essentially banned for five years from coaching in college because he made improper recruiting calls. But a man that has been synonymous with a sexual assault investigation that led to a few kids being indicted, at least two that I know of being found guilty, at least one of them sentenced to over 20 years in prison, the man that led that program is your hire at an HBCU. Now, I understand we can say it on any place, yeah. and I get all of that, but I'm representing HBCUs this morning. That's why I wore this jacket. Yeah. Because evidently, Hugh Jackson needs to be reminded of why he got the damn job. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.